Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Faculty, SP2 faculty, staff, and fellow classmates. My presentation this morning will be on constructive criticism. And it's, there are many different steps in order to improve someone's self-esteem. And one of the most important ones for me, when someone approaches me, is to have good intentions. That don't pick on me because there's some personal wrong with, with him or her. That to actually see that I need improvement something to let me know and know that I can improve in whatever that they see that I'm lacking. Also, to ease their way in. Not to just come up like a hurricane and just cute do this, do that, you know, because then my self defense mechanisms automatically, you know, uh, activates and then I'll be like, hold on, like, stay away from me. <laughs> <laughs> and another one also is that choose the right time and place. Like, don't come, you know, be, uh, do not approach me. Like in a room like this with a lot of a lot of people and be like, well, Q, you should have did this, you should have did that. You know, approach me on the stairwell in the classroom, in the office, at a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, just tell me what I what I should do. And a last few of them is that always be honest and always focus on like telling me what I should do to prepare me for the future. And don't say too much at one time, because I don't, it's like a class, and I don't feel like, you know, like being lectured and anything like that. Just make it simple. Keep it simple, keep it sweet, and I'll memorize it, and i know how to implement it. And encourage me with solutions. Like, there has to be a solution. There has to be a way out. There has to be a way that I could actually ascend to, from the place that I'm at now to something higher. And I believe that for me personally, that when actually someone approaches me like that, that what comes from the heart reaches the heart. That it's no, it's no ego involved. It's, you know what I'm saying? No one is being selfish that they actually see that, hey, you know, don't limit yourself. And I know that that's, one of, that's why I gave this presentation because I believe that there are so many skillful people and talented people in, in the, like globally that when you see this talent, and his skill, like approach them and help them and show them, empower them, and the world is theirs. And that's the conclusion of my presentation.